my dad said the first thing I ever picked up was a baseball. Baseball has always been a big part of my life. Whenever I get a baseball in my hand, there's not a worry in the world. It's just me, the diamond, and whoever I'm trying to get out. I found out that I had leukemia when I was four. It was tough, I mean, not just on, my, on myself, on, on my family as well. We got to the point where I had to take 50 pills a day, and then we would have to go to Monterey, Mexico every weekend for treatments to be able, they used to put a needle up my spine to be able to get blood because I was missing platelets. And I mean, it, it took a toll on my body, but my parents and my family stayed so supportive and we kept faith and I mean, God willing, I'm, I'm here now. Whenever I got cured from cancer, it wasn't really a process, I guess. It was just what we call to this day, uh, a miracle and an act of God. Uh, we were in the hospital, and I remember I heard the flat line. Uh, my mom said she heard the flat line. And all I remember seeing bright white lights, like the lights right here, actually. And I just remember blinking and started seeing lights, and I remember God just staring at me real confused and saying, why are you here? And I said, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm eight years old, I'm, I don't know. He's like, no, why are you here? And I just kept answering, I don't know. He said, you shouldn't be here right now. I have a plan for you. You should not be here. You should be with your family. While I was experiencing this, my mom said an old lady walked into the room and she started just touching my hands, my feet, my head, and just saying, don't worry, he's gonna be fine. Just keep faith and whatever you do, just stay positive. He's gonna be fine, I promise you. So the last thing I remember God telling me is go with your family, I have a plan for you. Just go back with your family. And he starts fading away. And my mom said the lady, walked out the door and when she closed the door behind her whenever she closed the door my eyes opened and my dad ran outside to try to find her and she was nowhere to be found and then two weeks later the doctor said there was absolutely nothing with me they said it was a, a miracle and my mom actually says i have two birthdays i came to mississippi state because i fell in love with a place from from day one it felt like a home it means, it means the world to me, being able to stand on that mound and being able to step foot where, I mean, Paul Mahalam, Papelbon, Will Clark, Raphael, I mean, the list goes on and on. And just to be able to set foot on the same field as them and be able to call yourself an SEC athlete, most importantly, I mean, it's, it means a lot to me and it's something that I don't take advantage of. I gotta be able to realize how much, how much opportunity has been given to me and there's kids everywhere that would wanna be in our spot, but we gotta be able to stay focused and know that this is an opportunity and life is about opportunities and you just gotta make the most of them. I've been told I was, I was too small in stature and not big enough physically and my parents said they don't know how big your heart is. I just wanna thank uh, the city of Starkville for just the way they opened the, their, their arms to me and being able to help me come here and play the sport I love and just being so supportive of us and I'm just blessed for the opportunity to be able to wear the maroon and white.